You are identifying to the stillness, not the news. Not the news in your mind, not the emotions. You're not identifying to what is coming and going. You're identifying to what you have discovered inside yourself, which is stillness. Everybody's running out, jumping out the boat. Everybody's running up for the hills because Godzilla is coming to eat you. Godzilla is coming. Uh -huh. COVID-19 is coming to kill you. And the awakened ones are just sitting there like, okay. Why? Because that's a moving phenomenon. What can a moving phenomenon do to that which is always still? The stillness, seeing what's moving. What's moving cannot have any effect on that which is still. What's moving can only have effects on that which is moving. Not that which is so. What could a stormy day with clouds do to sunshine? The sun is always the sun. It has no effect on the sun. You can have a thousand days of bad weather every day. What does it do to the sun? The sunshine doesn't give a shit. The sun is the sun, is far, far remote. It doesn't care, it's always the sun. Once you find stillness inside yourself and you recognize this part of you, what could COVID-19 or Anunnaki or Illuminati or the communist or the Nazi or the terrorist or the Baptist or, or the whatever it is do to you. Once you discover the stillness inside yourself, you are the king. You are the Lord. You're not a beggar any longer begging. What can they, what will you be afraid of when you discover it, that which never changes and it's always here, the being, the presence, the sense of I am is always I am. What could disease, virus, nuclear bomb, terrorism do to the I am? They're powerless at the presence of I am, of the stillness because they all come and go. They're phenomena. You have discovered something that doesn't change and you identify with it. That something is always here. It's always been here. It was always be here. It's permanently here. What could old age, young age, cancer, economical ups and downs, do to that which is always here. Find that inside yourself, my friend, and be free forever. It's here, it's in you. You're not looking for it. You are looking for security outside of this place. And that's why you don't find it.
You're looking for false security. You're looking for apparent security. You're looking for a security that comes and goes. It's illusion. It's not there. No matter what you do, you're never ever going to find it. It's short term and it's a false illusory security for a few days, for a few months, for a few years. But then something's going to pull the rock from under your feet, like what is happening right now. Right now, what's going on in the world is the perfect example of the truth of what is. And that's designed by the boss. Her Majesty, the Supreme, has decided to awaken this planet. It's like enough is enough. I had enough of this. You guys are too sleep. Let me wake you guys up. I'm gonna create this thing. and pull the rock from under your feet. Let's see what are you made of. You say I'm spiritual, I'm having my feathers, I got my crystals, I'm a shaman. Well, then why are you afraid? You are done all this spiritual stuff and you got all these medals, you've done all these courses, you did ayahuasca in Peru, you went to all kinds of gurus, you did all this stuff. Why are you so afraid of dying? Why are you hanging out to your couple pennies? You said you, you are a shaman, then show me what you got. Stay in the fire with me, walk into the fire. Let's see what you got, I wanna know what you got. Uh, otherwise, it's bullshit. You haven't got anything. You haven't, you haven't arrived anywhere. You're full of shit. You're only fooling yourself. That's all you do. Because you want to hang on to your little things, but you also want God. No, I'm sorry. It doesn't work. You got to let that stuff go if you want the boss. You want the beloved, then you have to jump into the fire and let, let go of everything to be with the beloved. If you want the beloved, you want the soulmate, then you have to show up. You can't just hang on to your stuff. It doesn't work. You're fooling yourself. But you want freedom, then find that part inside yourself, which is unshakable, indestructible, it would never be destroyed. It's always here. And then you're free, free from fear, fear from death. You find that you are eternal. And a few people throughout the history of humanity found that. And they're in history. Gautama Buddha, the Christ, Krishna, Master, Ramana Maharshi, Muktananda, Nim Karoli Baba, the list, Amaji, Mamritananda Mai, Hafez, Rumi. Kabir, few people on this planet found that. And they are eternal now. And you can do that because it's here. 